you again back on our channel. My name is Amara. And my name is Gospel. Today we just want to have a conversation on husbands or wives who make more sacrifices in marriage. Why, why are we having this conversation today? Well, I think it's important because when someone has given up his or her dreams mm. or has made so much sacrifices for marriage, it gets to a point where it could become burdensome. Mm. And the person would not see marriage as something that is enjoyable and then if you don't know how to you know navigate such circumstance you know you might see marriage to be frustrating yes yes and i think that you know based on research um a lot of people out there have put forward that wives tend to make more sacrifices, sacrifices. although this could be debatable like yeah. i said like our viewers could have like polarized view about this that it just, like I said before, it's just a conversation that we mm. want to have today and to know why, what, to ascertain why is this the case and how can this be circumvented? Yes. In case you're in a marital relationship where you're making so many sacrifices and you think it's becoming bothersome, how can you nav navigate it? How can you come out of that? How can your spouse help you to, you know, bring about that balance that will help you Though you're married, you're fulfilling your marriage, and at the same time, you're fulfilling life. As a person. Yes, as an fulfilling individual. your dreams and accomplishing your goals. Like you were saying, mm -hmm. marriage is an institution involving a husband and a wife. In terms of sacrifice, both of them are supposed to be making or to be focused on making sacrifices on something that is best or is of best interest for the family. Mm -hmm. However, it seems that generally speaking, like we said, mm -hmm. uh, the wives tend to make more sacrifices. So I think in a lot of societies, uh, especially in collectivist societies, mm -hmm. this tend to be the case. Mm -hmm. Now, why is this the case? Yeah. Why do you think women tend to make more sacrifices in some societies? To answer your question, I think the first place to start is the former. Mm -hmm. um, in most collective societies, um, women are expected to, you know, start, you know, thinking about marriage even as much as you're progressing in your career. Mm -hmm. So it gets to a point where personal goals have to, you know, be lowered yeah. so that they don't come in the way of you getting, getting married. married. Yeah. So is it that you choose to get married first? And then you before you to think finish. about progressing in your career, oh, okay. or some women would try to you know pursue their career and be the best there. Yeah. But then it could be a conflict mm. because some men are not so comfortable. With women who are driven, mm. who are goal oriented, who mm. are doing so well in their mm. career. I think it's a cultural thing. Yes, basically, exactly. because um, in some societies mm. they would expect that women, although there are some limitations for mm. women in some other societies mm. as well. Mm. But like you rightly mentioned, uh, majorly speaking, a lot of women are are asked not to be too ambitious mm -hmm. you know in order not to scare a, a potential suitor mm -hmm. from from coming at, coming for them so yeah. it becomes yes. more challenging when age is not favorable so that your a woman is asked you're getting old yes you have to settle do something down. about it settle even down if it means job. leaving your job yes. relocating where you can be positioned to meet the vice spouse. Yes. Do it. Yeah, yeah. So that's what it is. Drink from what you said, yeah. um, I think th this point is very important. Yeah. And that's the point of societal expectation. Yeah. Now, in a lot of societies, um, in a lot of religious setting, and also in a lot of cultural sort of, there's a lot of expectation yeah. that, yeah. yes, to manage the home, take care of children. Mm. And this is particularly so under the traditional male breadwinner and mm. female homemaker model. Yeah. So the society expects that the men, the breadwinners. Yes, go out there and fend for the family, which is okay. Yes. There's no problem with that. But we've come to realize that in modern society, things are changing where women as well want to go out there. Yes. Fulfill their goals make money yes and you know bring a balance in terms of financial contribution yes to the home yes so in that case if if a man believes so much in the traditional approach of i am the man i should provide for you mm. which works well for them yes the woman may be subjected to staying at home not driving her vision as an individual yes yes know? yes that's one of the reasons yeah and I, and I think that you know fundamentally families would need to understand what is our vision as a family mm -hmm. because you know you guys can work together to make sure that 
your dreams are both achieved mm -hmm. and you know for the sake of the family basically it is yeah yeah it is the fact but you should also look at the teaching religious teaching that emphasizes the woman mm. or the wife mm. as playing a supportive role in the life of the man yes so if the man has a job her role is to support him mm. if he has a vision mm. her role is to support his vision yes it's not actually for her to come into the marriage to fulfill her vision mm. but there is a mismatch in that because every individual whether you're a woman or a man mm. you have potential you mm. have dreams you have goals you have capacity in you that you need to maximize yeah so like you're saying about vision it is to see how everyone will bring in their strengths their capacity and integrate your goal your vision into the overall vision of the family mm. so if the man is the one driving his vision in terms of making money fulfilling his dream yeah the woman should as well find her own way her own niche so if the man is the one driving his vision mm. he should not, it shouldn't, it shouldn't it shouldn't be his, be his vision. vision it, it should, should be, be a collective vision for the family yes where the woman has a role to play where he she brings her own uh, dreams and aspirations to support the to vision. be part of the overall vision yeah so if she's working if he's working if she's at home if whatever it is Someone has somewhere to fit in. Yeah, and it's and just still fulfilled. Yes, as a person, as yes. an individual. You see, to carry on with that, I think the, this is why it is important you discover yourself before marriage. Before marriage, yes, I and have to say that, that conversation with your spouse. Mm. This is who I am. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to do in life. Yeah. So that the two of you can now See find how a way to sync it. Yes. Yeah. Because I think this this causes a lot of problems yes. in a lot of relationships where a lot of people have discovered themselves and they come into marriage and saying, "Oh no, this is who I am. This is what I want to do. I had this vision about myself." And then at that point, you are seen as not being submissive. Mm -hmm. You are seen as not supporting the vision of the man. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot of conversation to be had. There's a yeah. lot of there's a lot of discovering who you are before you come into the relationship. Yeah. Even when you've discovered yourself, you should have that conversation to see how everyone's personal goals and dreams can be integrated to the overall vision of the family. Another point to touch on is the responsibilities of motherhood. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a woman is designed, yeah. you know, to get pregnant, you know, carry a child, not show a child. And, you know, all of this could have a lot of impact on a woman because it takes a whole lot of process where a woman needs to tend or take care of, of a child mm -hmm. and this if not discussed and uh, uh, properly managed within a home mm -hmm. can have a, a lot of impact on a woman mm -hmm. in, in terms of making that sacrifices and she finds out that her life is stagnating because mm -hmm. she is so overburdened with the responsibilities of having them. children mm -hmm. and, and then she and taking care of them and then she is not able to sort of forge her future forward mm -hmm. so i don't know what you think about that because I, I think that this is one of the one of the main concerns for for a lot of women out there where they take on this responsibility mm -hmm. and then they find out that they don't have time invested in other mm -hmm. responsibilities i think i think marriage should be enjoyed mm -hmm. but marriage should not truncate one's life and one's you know, become one's personality yes. or who that person who is supposed are. to be. Yes, your vision. Yeah, as if, a person. If people start seeing marriage as something that inhibits their expression of themselves, yeah, it becomes frustrating. Yeah, you know? nobody that, will want to go in to get yeah, married. Exactly, and there are so many women out there who, before they got married, they had tall dreams, they had visions, they had goals, they want to. Um, go to school mm. upskill themselves build a career build a business mm. but now they're married seems like the responsibility of marriage is choking their life yeah and they are lashing out mm. they are you know getting at the husband mm. without even saying the exact reason why they are not happy mm. because they think marriage has 
you know, stop them from becoming who they want to be. Yes. And when they look at their friends, yes, who are out there doing things, fulfilling yeah. their visions yeah. and their dreams, even though they are married, yeah, they feel less of themselves. Yes. That is why we are We're having this having this conversation that marriage should not kill people's dreams. Yeah. It should actually be a platform where people find fulfillment to express who they are. Yeah. So even as a mother, mm. you have children. There's no problem with that. There should be a conversation around how do we properly manage yeah. this phase of your life. Yeah. So that and, I, and I wanted to say that because mm -hmm. the, the a lot about this or or circumvent or navigating navigating this has a lot to do with the husband. Yes. It does. Yes. Uh, I know you post a bit before yeah, you said Yeah, why I yes. post a bit is yes. is a two effort. Yeah. Some men would want to help the wife. Mm. Some women would get to that point and they feel there's that no, is it. Just stop this is the, the whole thing I'm here for. Yes, yes. And once you, you take on that disposition mm. that I can't go further, mm. even when the man wants you to move on with your life, you can't do it. It's more like a self fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. Where you tell yourself, What's I the can't, point? I can't do more than this. Yeah. Than being a mother. Yeah. But you know, having said that mm -hmm. as well, having said that, because a lot happened in the course of having or childbearing. Mm -hmm. Having said that, I think that the husband can still help yes. have think, that conversation. Yeah, I think we'll touch on that later because the man has so much to do mm. in terms of helping the wife become who she's designed to be within the context of the man. From what you said in terms of um, spousal support, yes, I think looking at it the other way around that mm. is one of the reasons some married women don't drive their goals and their dreams so they lack spousal support there is no support anywhere wow. you know where the man wants to dominate her mm. it's good for the man to provide leadership in the home yes but that leadership is not a process of subjecting your wife mm. where she wants to do something with her life mm. And you're saying no, you're not doing it. You have to be the homemaker. Yeah, you know, like being domineering, yeah. right? So you're talking about the fact that a man, a uh, leadership is not where you say you're not supposed to do this because I'm the man. I say so. Mm -hmm. um, but it's about it. Uh, see, look, this is someone you love, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You love this woman. Yeah, you. Be, yeah. And there was a lot of potential you saw before marriage. Yeah, you know the thing. Some men are not comfortable with women who are progressive in terms of driving their vision and all that. Mm. So they would rather have you stay where they can control you because they are the ones that provide all the money. Mm. He who has the money has the power, so yeah, to speak. Yeah. So you are dependent on them. Mm. We are not trying to say women should fight for mm. equal rights and mm. all that. Mm. You know. Mm. But the thing is, look at it. This woman, if she's your daughter, mm. will you want her to be progressive in life? Mm. When all the children are trained and they've all moved away, yeah. so there is that emptiness yes. because there is nothing else to do in her life. Mm. That is why you should help support your wife mm. to find fulfillment in life so that the marriage will not become a box, mm. a prison that cages her from expressing who she is okay so drive from what you've said right now about women and them progressing and getting support from yes their spouse yes mm -hmm. i think one of the things that they find challenging in spite of the support that they get spousal support mm -hmm. is the fact that progressing educationally could be a challenge mm -hmm. now it is easier for a woman who is educated before marriage and who has a career mm -hmm. before marriage to keep progressing in her career despite motherhood Okay. As opposed to someone who decides to get married first and, and then, then you begin start to the process of education. Yes, and, and, and you know, get advancing. Yes. And all that. Yes. Yeah. So I, I think that you know this this kind of touches on the point about women building capacity and capability, you know, before marriage because a lot of things could happen within the relationship and then it's very difficult for you to take on more mm. of other responsibilities mm. around career and education and mm. all of those stuff. Yeah. Now, in this case, motherhood can be a phase. Mm. So you can you require a short break. That's, it, that's if you've 
developed a level of education and before, career before marriage. Yes. Yeah. So it's just it's just a situation of you taking a short break and after which you begin, you know, you continue with your dreams mm. and all that. Mm. I think looking at your example, I mm. can say having that level of a level of development in terms of education and career is important because yes. you had a baby, I remember. Mm. And it didn't stop you. Mm. It's only that you had a phase where you took a break. I took you a break. Were, oh, yes. Yes. I've seen so many women out there who they had children. Yes. They didn't stop moving forward because yes. of children. Yeah. So after which they were able to, you know, mm-hmm. get themselves back on track. on track. Yeah. <laughs> so please, if you're single watching this, mm. we've done some videos on single and content. Yeah. We've done some video on what a woman needs to do before you find Mr. Yeah. Right. Yes. One of the points we raise is that you need to develop capacity, level of independence. Yes. So please find those videos and watch. These points we are making is very important because if support is not given, if mm. a woman is not developing her dreams and aspirations, becoming who she's supposed to be, yes. and she's making all the sacrifices, mm. giving up her job, giving up her education, giving up who she is because she wants to keep her marriage going, yeah. it could impact on her. Mm. It could impact on her marriage such that they grow up. Mm. You see a situation where because the man is not the one taking care of the children, raising um, the children and um, building the home, yeah, he's upskilling himself, he's doing so well. So the man is the one, you know, Helping himself to get empowered, intellectual mm. capacity, and all that. Yep. That helps him to grow. And the woman is the one focusing on taking care of the children and building the home. Yeah. She's stuck in that process. Mm. If she's not careful to, as she's doing that, to also upskill herself, in, or herself yeah. get informed, yeah. you see a situation where they start drifting apart. Yes. They start growing apart. Mm. Their level of communication is now lopsided. They can't yeah. flow at the same frequency or level. That's true. I think we did a video on growing apart in marriage yeah. uh, just recently. So if you haven't seen that, please do go and you know engage with that content because mm. we put a lot of things out there. And if you are new to our channel, please do not fail to subscribe and turn on your notification bell as well. Now, drawing from what you said, I think another thing that this does is that it impacts on a woman's self-image. Mm. Now, in some cases, the woman may feel or become frustrated with her life, especially when the children are now a bit more independent. So she's now left wondering what exactly she's going to do. There's a lot of vacuum and she doesn't really have any inspiration. Even her goals, her vision it has been sort of truncated. Yeah. So she's left with uh, it's really like, oh, I had this dream. I wish I pursued this dream mm. and a feeling of emptiness. Mm. And I think that has a lot of impact mm. negatively on a on woman. woman. It could even lead to depression, depression and yes. loneliness. Yes. Different mental health issues, you know. But that's why it's important that the conversation that support. Support from the from the husband and having that sort of conversation as exactly. well. Having considered all that we have said right now, mm. I think it's very important because some women might be watching this and say, okay, fine, I'm in this situation. What do I need to do? How do I need to get out of this? Yeah, I want to say to every woman watching this, whether you're in this state or not, mm. don't let marriage limit you. Mm. Marriage is not a prison. Marriage is not a bad place to be. In it's fact, not a trap. Yes, it's not a trap. Marriage is a platform mm. that helps you fulfill your dream and maximize who you are. In yeah. fact, when two of you join health together, you perform better. In fact, your husband is supposed to help you, empower you, support you to be the best that you can be. You can, you should as well support your husband to fulfill the family vision and goals. Mm. You know, so that synergy yeah. is important. Mm. So it starts with your mindset. Don't look at marriage as a place where when you get involved in, you have children. Now you give children, you use your children as your excuse yeah. for not fulfilling your dreams. No, no, It shouldn't no. be. Mm-hmm. Look out for women out there who even though they are married with children, they are thriving, doing business, doing different things. Yes. And you can learn from them. Exactly. You can learn, you can learn, you can ask, I mean, having a support group is very important. Yes. Like you can mm-hmm. find out from other women what exactly. How are they doing it? Ex- How are they able to juggle, juggle? responsibilities at home and building their career yes in fact in 
some societies, people who are married mm. can as well go to school. Yeah. They can as well have career. Yeah. They I can skill themselves, do a, a lot of things. Yes. So so I think that you, you can actually, you're not alone. You're mm. not alone in all of this. And there's help out there. It's just for you to ask for it. And I'm sure people will be willing to, to support. Mm -hmm. Another thing uh, I think that could be done to help this situation, we've touched on this previously, is husbands, please support your wives. Mm. Help them live out their full potential. You know, um, we, we, we want to submit, we want, we want to be there for you mm. as wives, but we, we also have a passion, we have our dream, we have those little things that we want to see happen, the vision that we want to see happen in our life. It, it is very important that they have a conversation. Yeah, this, isn't yeah it's it? very important. I also want to say that there are husbands out there who have made so much sacrifices to see that their wives become the best yes. that they can be. I, I just want to say kudos to them because it's not easy to do that. You yes. know? But doing it means that's how you prove how much you love your wife. Yeah. You don't just love by saying it, you love by showing support. Showing yeah, demonstrating affection and mm, care. Mm. You know that this woman is having even though you're the one making the money, you're the breadwinner. Yeah. But this woman at home has so much going on. Yeah. Beyond having those children and taking care of them. Yes. She has a dream. A life. So provide her support. Mm. Financial support. It's not just financial support. It can provide moral support. Yes. Emotional support. Yes. When yes. she feels like she cannot do it, mm. she feels less of herself. She feels demotivated to go out and obscure herself. Mm. Tell her that she can do it. Yes. Tell her that you trust her and you believe in her. And I think this is the best point to say that I am privileged to have one of the most supportive man in the whole wild world. Yeah, and, and you my, tell me that. <laughs> my husband here, right here, has been supportive and I cannot overemphasize that. I know that might not be the case in every relationship and I always say that every relationship is different. But I would say that I wouldn't be where I am today without my husband. I yeah, just thought I should I say I also that. want to say that if you are giving support and you do not take advantage of your capacity and use the platforms you have to develop yourself, mm. it wouldn't have happened. So, in as much as the man wants to provide support, every woman should believe that they can do it. Yeah, That factor is important. Mm. You can, and you will be able to make it happen. That's true. It's not just for the husband. Support can also mean you getting extra help from extended family member, probably registering your children in a mm. nursery, in a crèche, you know, just to give you the flexibility around mm what you need to do with your time and how you manage your time and you know it frees up time for you to focus on you pursuing your dreams yeah, as well yeah that's important like what you just said about you know providing time for yourself yes. you should as well look at driving your vision or your dream mm. from the point of you're doing it for the family yes don't let your vision don't let your personal aspiration come in the way of you know taking care of the people you love yes your children and your husband yeah so you have to find that balance that balance may mean that the responsibility of home is so much that you have to do things part-time yeah it could also mean that you have to do it from home yeah thank god we are in a global village where the internet has breached that gap where yeah. you don't need to be in a location to upskill yourself physically yes yeah and I, and I would just say it's all about prioritizing yes basically it's all about prioritizing not just for the woman but also for the man mm. look what is most important to you mm. and you just kind of work your plans and work your visions around what is most important and I think that this is this is key key in every relationship I also want to add to this yes some women make more sacrifices because their men do not want to upskill obsc themselves. Mm. They don't want to drive any vision. They don't want to achieve their goals. Mm. So if this is the case, the support the man can give should also mean get out there and do something with your life mm. so that the woman will not carry so much burden. Yeah. She wants to upskill herself, she wants to go to school, but she cannot the burden of home, the yeah. burden of being the breadwinner as well as a homemaker as, as well as the homemaker is so much yeah, yeah yeah so that support could mean providing more financial yeah 
income yeah. for the family. Yeah. Though we've said a lot. Yes. But then our viewers could have you know a contrary view or other views mm -hmm. as well. Please, if you know, tell us more. Who makes more sacrifices? Why? How do they make the sacrifices? And mm -hmm. what do you think they can do in order to manage the expectations yeah. within the home? So please do tell us in the comment section below. If you found this video of value, please do like it, share with your friends. And if you are new to our channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. Now, it was great having every single one of you engaging back with us again every single time we put content out. And I would say, until when we see you next time, have a fantastic day. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>